Today I'd like to show you a new modeling asset in Blender. If I go to add, normally we work with a lot of meshes, planes, cubes, spheres, whatever. Today I'm going to go down to Metaball and add a ball. Each of these options for the Metaball behaves in exactly the same fashion and that's what we're after. So I'm just going to start with a basic ball and here's how the Metaballs are different. If I duplicate this ball and move it, it tries to stay connected to the one next to it. It's like a mushy ball of clay that uh, bleeds into the one next to it. So by pressing Shift D often and moving around and scaling uh, and, and doing more of this, you can create a basic shape of whatever it is you want to start with before you go into the sculpting mode. So I'm going to create a basic, and I mean basic, body shape real quick with metaballs and then take it over into sculpting. So I'm going to select all and delete and then I'm going to add a new metaball and I'm going to scale it up a bit and then I'm going to shift D and I'm going to come up in this direction here. This is going to be the head object. Let's say about like that. Maybe pan down a little bit. Whoops, I do want to stay in front view, keep everything aligned. I'm going to shift D again. Now just because it started up here doesn't mean it has to stay up here. I can move it down here and start like an arm, but that's a very big arm. So I'm going to scale it and then just press G and move it back in. Shift D, scale, shift D, and try to keep it lined up, scale. Okay, basic arm on that side. <clears throat> and I'm just going to duplicate that one. Come over to the other side. And Shift D. Scale. Shift D. Scale. Oop, that was Shift D again. Didn't actually want that one. Delete. Let's grab this one. You can also grab the circles around them to select the metal ball you want to work with. Let's move that one a little bit. All right, let's grab another sort of beginner sized meta ball like that one right there. Shift D. Let's bring it down and start forming some legs. Shift D. Shift D. And we'll scale that last one. And probably scale the one before that as well. So there's a little bit of a smoother transition. Okay, let's grab this one again. Shift D. Bring it over here. Shift D scale it first it'll be simpler that way shift D and scale this one well try to make it the similar to the other one over here and good enough I've got my basic shape okay now unfortunately if I click on this shape it will all be highlighted it looks like an object if I go up here to object mode I have no sculpt and that's because metaballs can't be sculpted they have to be converted into a mesh first but that's easy to do. Go to your object menu, convert to mesh. Boom, we've got a mesh. Now if we go to object mode up here in the drop down, we do have a sculpt mode. However, let's not start sculpting yet. I'm going to go into wireframe and take a look at the mesh we just created. Um, it's pretty basic. It's, it's very large. It's not a detailed mesh. And for sculpting, you might want more detail than that. So what I'm going to do before I go into sculpting mode is I'm going to add a modifier and I'm going to add the subdivision surface modifier. And what that's going to do is break our mesh up into smaller pieces. However, it doesn't look like it did anything. And that's because if you take a look at the bottom of this subdivision surface modifier, there's this checkbox that says optimal display. And that's going to keep Blender from showing you all those lines and, and uh, edges inside your mesh. So I'm just going to turn that off for now so we can see how much the subdivision surface did for us. That looks like something I can sculpt with. Um, now you can't sculpt with the modifier on there. So it needs to be applied. So I'm just going to hit the little arrow here and apply. Modifier is applied. Go back to solid mode. And now I can go to sculpt mode and sculpt to my heart's content. Uh, now at the moment, I am not preparing to sculpt anything. I have no idea what I would make here. I guess I'm just going to make a, a bit of a bulge here for a belly. So maybe this guy's got a, a bit of a beer belly going on. 
Um, but you can sculpt whatever it is you want because now you have a quick and easy way to start your base shape that you can then sculpt from.